Josh Redman joined here by Mustangs defenseman Sean Patrick Merck, also known as SP Merck, a name that I like to say over there. It's fun to say. You're a first-year guy, first-year Mustang, coming out of camp, making the team. How did that feel to you to know that you'd made this team and secured a spot? Yeah, definitely. I think it's felt great so far. You know, I got to know the guys, and, you know, so it's a good coaching staff that they like me. And, you know, coming into the season, it makes me feel really good and solid to finally be – you know, starting my first junior season as a rookie. And coming into Peoria before the season started, right before coming in, getting to know the guys, getting to know the area, how was that for you? I mean, you're a Northern Illinois guy, Mokina area. How was it coming down here, moving into this area for a short time? Yeah, it's different, but, you know, it's only two hours away from my hometown. So, you know, getting to know them, it was pretty simple. Everyone loves me. And, you know, I always have the smile on my face as well. So I'm a pretty funny guy. And, you know, it's easy to make new friends with me, so. I was actually going to allude to that every time you are at the rink, every time I see you are wearing this big, bright smile, much like you have on your face right now. Yep, yep. And, of course, to us, the rink's like Disneyland, happiest place on earth. I, I don't know about you, I'm speaking for me, but I enjoy being okay. here. So you've got 15 points in 40 games played, two goals, 13 assists. That One of those two goals coming on the power play that came on opening night with Oregon in town. It was a blast from the point. You were just right place, right time, took a pass and just wound up and hammered it. That's something you like to do, I've noticed. How did that feel getting that first goal, especially coming on the power play opening weekend or opening night, rather? Yeah, it felt definitely great, you know, having my family here and, you know, having the fans here for uh, the first game and first opening night. And, you know, it was pretty special to get the monkey off my back and, you know, finally having that chance to take that opportunity and shoot. And in addition to that opening night goal, the second goal was versus Milwaukee, also coming at home on the 21st of this year. That was also your first career multi-point game. It was a snapshot from the point. It just kind of found its way through traffic into the back of the net. How did it feel seeing that puck go weave through that traffic and get into the back of the net for a goal? Yeah, definitely. We're, we're actually doing a face-off play where I'm supposed to drop it back. It's called the Dion and... You know, I had the opportunity, which, you know, I'm always going to take and try and shoot and score. And I found that bottom right corner to, you know, snap it right off the goalie and, you know, hit the poster right in. Never hurts the feelings when that lamp goes on, does it? Oh, no, never. It's always a great feeling. So sticking with the 21st, we're going to add in the 22nd. First career, multi-point, back-to-back multi-point games. And that was also the start of points in four straight for you. Is that something you look at or you just kind of, hey, I'm putting points on the board, getting assists, getting goals, and helping us win, so that's all that matters? No, yeah, I think, uh, you know, points are, you know, key, but, you know, I'm also a, you know, creative defenseman where kind of like a quarterback where, you know, I try to make the plays and, you know, it happened to be, you know, like you said, my multi-point, so, you know, something must have been special that weekend. Okay, and now kind of getting away from the games and the specifics being a first-year guy, you had the first road trip on the bus with the guys. What was that like for you? I know memories are made on road trips. What was that like for SP Merck? Oh, yeah, definitely. I remember, uh, you know, my teammate Hubert Guzzi, he's, uh, you know, he's such a funny guy. And I remember, you know, that first road trip with him. And it was, you know, a great memory. And, you know, sharing my bed with Hubert <laughs> was, even, was even funnier. <laughs> I mean, at least, at least Goose is kind of cuddly, so you have that going oh, yeah. for you. Cuddly, but right? <laughs> So coming in, you're practicing with these guys, getting to know the area, getting to know these guys a little bit better. How was that transition coming in as a first-year guy, getting to know all that and having a short amount of time to do so? Yeah, I mean, we come to practice every day, and, you know, it's a grind, but, you know, this is what I signed up for, and, you know, I really enjoy doing this and really love, you know, the pure area as much as I can. I never really got to experience, you know, practicing every day. I was usually a Tuesday, Thursday guy, but, you know, I really like this grind and, you know, like to work as much as possible to succeed to the next level. And looking at summers, we don't, we're not playing hockey year-round for the most part. What do the summers look like for SP outside of hockey, going water skiing or playing golf with friends? What do they look like for you? Oh, yeah, definitely, like you said, golf. I'm a big golfer guy, lefty-handed. And, you know, I like to hit the gym as well. Gym is, you know, also key to my game and, you know, wanting to strive forward to get better as a hockey player and as a person. So definitely those two. And one last question. This is a fan question. Do you have any superstitions or a specific game day routine that you follow on a regular basis? Yeah, huge routine guy. But, uh, you know, always wake up pretty early, you know, get uh, 
get, get some good food in, get Chipotle in, hit a nap, and then, um, you know, I have a huge pregame, you know, routine is once I hit the rink, um, definitely hit the bike, stretching a lot, you know, talking with the guys mostly, and then, um, you know, get ready for that warm-up, get ready for that game. Mustangs fans, that's defenseman Sean Patrick Merck. Sean, thank you for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it.